Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. This morning we have woke up early, it's 6.30am because last night we decided that we're going to New York City today. Um, I love how spontaneous me and Jake are but if you don't know my brother and his girlfriend, well fiance, uh, moved to Canada a week ago actually yesterday and my brother's never been to New York City me and Jake have got four days off they haven't started work yet so we said should we drive down to New York City it's about six hours away obviously we're going to do some stops on the way but no better way to start 2023 than going to Jake's favorite place in the whole entire world Jake absolutely loves New York we went in 2017 together for Christmas. I went when I was in school with my friend. I can't remember what year that was actually. I think it was like 2015 in the summer. Um, so I've been twice and I've actually never been in January. I've never been when it's like snowy and stuff. I actually don't think it's gonna snow while we're there. Um, obviously we live in Canada, Ontario and we haven't had any really bad snow at the minute. So I don't think it is gonna snow, which doesn't matter. Um, I'd love to see New York in the snow one day though. So yeah, we're up at 6.30 a.m. I need to pack, because we've decided to do it so last minute, but that's why it's so spontaneous and so good. We've just booked a cheap hotel. Um, we couldn't get one in Times Square because they're very expensive. Um, so we got one down in Wall Street, so downtown, which is not bad because that's down by Statue of Liberty and Memorial, um, but yeah. I've literally just got my suitcase out and I'm just packing right now. It's just hard to know what to pack because normally this time of year is freezing in New York, but apparently it's supposed to be sunny. So I've got my pajamas, my socks, I've got one outfit here and then I've got another outfit here and then I need to pack, I need to decide what I'm going to wear down there. Jake's just... Have you packed your phone charger? No. Oh. Jake's excited, it's his favourite place. How excited from one to ten? Ten. <laughs> Jake's obviously driving. Um, he's done this drive before. Oh, I've been three times. Just remembered we went with your mum as well in May. Yeah. But I've never been in Jan I've never been in January before. So finish off packing and yeah, I will see you when we're getting in the car ready to go. Next stop, what bridge are we doing, Jake? Lewiston Bridge. Oh, Lewiston today. Yeah. I think it's going to be less busy. Time is it? 7.51. You wanted to be out by 8, so we did good. Let's go to New York, baby. We have just arrived in New York State. Woohoo! Just crossed the border. It was really easy. We had to wait in there for like 10 minutes as usual. Fingerprints and then our visa is valid till April now. So now we're gonna stop off at Dunkin' Donuts to get some breakfast and then the next stop would be Pennsylvania after that. Who knows? <laughs> With Jake, who knows, literally. So yeah, see you there at Dunkin' Donuts. Why is the first stop of any trip Dunkin' Donuts? Why do you stop off it at Dunkin' Donuts first? Every time. love it. <laughs> okay, what to get? <laughs> Smell the sugar. So Dunkin' Donuts, what are we gonna get? Okay, so as always, you guys know my order by now. I have got mini hash browns. And then I have an iced latte with one pump of caramel. Jake has just got a coffee and he's eating his <laughs> snack and bacon. Is it good snack and bacon? And yeah. what's inside there? Uh, sausage, cheese, and egg croissant. Awesome. So Jake's just planning the route. So let's see what we're going. So we're going through New York. Then we go into Pennsylvania and then end down in New York City. Gonna oh, get on no, the road. We're going to New Jersey for a little bit. Oh, New Jersey, then New York? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I need a toilet break. We've been driving for an hour, so we're stopping off at our first gas station, which is 7 Eleven. Um, this is actually my brother's first time stopping at an American gas station, too, so let's see what he thinks of it. I need a wee and I need a nice cold drink as well. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so we're starting off with a gulp. They're gonna get a lemonade. Oh, you have to keep holding it. Is that a small? Oh, that's a large. Also, the Slurpees over there. They have vitamin water Slurpee. <laughs> what are you getting, Jay? Uh, the Coke. Oh, everyone in the UK would be crazy at you right now. Every choice, every flavour, 2 99 Jake has found our favourite crepe. Jake's 
So we've got Kit Kat birthday cake, which I'm gonna have to give a try and let you know what it tastes like. And these are our favorite crisps of all time. They are so good. We actually found these in Virginia and oh my God, amazing. Okay, so Lars is trying his first taquito at 7-Eleven. He's chosen a taquito. What flavor are you gonna go for? Taco and cheese. Taco and cheese. So yeah, we just stopped off at a 7-Eleven for Lars to experience his first American gas station. He's actually been to 7-Eleven before, so we'll stop off at another one on the way. Now we're five hours away from Manhattan and only two hours away from State Line at Pennsylvania. So that's probably where you'll see us next. I don't think we're gonna stop again between now and Pennsylvania. So hopefully we can go get a picture of the Pennsylvania sign. He's gonna try his Kit Kat birthday cake. So let's see what he thinks of it. <laughs> Is it good? The birthday cake birthday cake cookies they have birthday cake everything in america oh. is it really good jake can i have a bite of one okay that's amazing are you trying your taquito yeah oh wow that is amazing yeah. 430 calories in that bag mm. it's not about the calories jake Ooh. birthday cake that was so good mm. don't taste like a kit kat though <laughs> <laughs> Lars isn't sure about the uh No Lars? It's not bad, it's just a weird texture. Mm. These crisps we found in Virginia and it, they were amazing. And we couldn't find them anywhere else. Mm -mm. Now we know New York State does it. Cheers. <laughs> oh wow. Good aren't they? They are good. Oh. Take them away from me. I swear all we do on road trips is eat. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to cross the uh, state line. It's just there, the dotted line. We're coming up any minute now. So fingers crossed, there should be a sign that says, welcome to Pennsylvania. And then we have got three hours to go to be in the middle. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. There we go. Pennsylvania. Welcome to Pennsylvania. There you go, it's your second state. Today we have conquered two countries, Canada and America, and now two states, New York State and Pennsylvania. Got it? Okay, so we're just stopping off at the Welcome Center to go for a quick toilet break, and then we're gonna go on the road to Walmart. And I just wanted to show you guys what you guys can pick up at a Welcome Center. So at every American Welcome Center, they have like things to do here. So it's like little brochures of like things that you can do in the area. And obviously Pennsylvania is beautiful. So it's like a lot of camping and things. Um, but yeah, oh, there's a map there too. That's so cool. I love how cute all of the, uh, pen all of the signs are so different in every state. Um, this one's just cute and blue. And then every state is so different. Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay, so we're just stopping off at Walmart to um, get a t-shirt because it's so hot today. It's like 30 degrees um, and we're in Pennsylvania, which is zero tax. And also, can I just say this Walmart is in the mountains of Pennsylvania. It's probably one of the most beautiful um, Walmarts we've ever been to. So yeah, we're just gonna grab some food, grab a t-shirt and then uh, see where we go next. Okay, so I brought a t-shirt for three dollars. It's actually super soft, so I'm not sweating anymore and I'm absolutely starving. So we're gonna go stop off at Taco Bell because it's literally just underneath. There is a Chick-fil-A near, but I can save myself in New York for that. Um, and then we are two and a half hours away from the Big Apple. But yeah, it's hot today. Okay, so we're just stopping off at Taco Bell for some lunch. Um, I've had Taco Bell once before. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna order though, so. Let's see what the burritos are. I don't want anything spicy. Beefing out for bur burrito. Let's try steak quesadilla or chicken quesadilla? Chicken quesadilla. And they've got all the sauces here, mild, hot. What is that? Tomato, salsa, 
God, look how big that drink is. Is that a large? I have no idea. They don't have fries here. So Jake has got his meal first. He has no idea what he's ordered, he said. Okay, I have two things. I have a quesadilla and a burrito. Cheers. I think I got the same thing as you. Mm. And guys, the how big this This is the quesadilla. Mm. So good, chicken and cheese quesadilla. Lars and Liv got these cinnamon twists. Wow. Are they good? Yeah, way to go. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh, wow. Good. So Lars got a, a Dorito shell, a soft shell, and a hard shell. What's that? Diablo sauce. Is that the hottest sauce you can do? No, you're not going to fill it on. Lars, you've got a two hour drive to do. <laughs> Actually hot? No, it's right. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna eat this and then head back onto the road. Okay, so we are about to cross the New York to New Jersey state line. Pennsylvania to New Jersey. Oh, Pennsylvania to New Jersey. I forgot we'd be in another state between those two. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, welcome. Welcome to New Jersey. Where is New Jersey? What? <laughs> Come to a sign that we have never been to before. I'm so happy that we found this one. This is the New Jersey one. We have been here when we came with Jake's mum, but it was so late we didn't stop. And also I stayed at my auntie's house in New Jersey a few years ago, but... This is actually such a cool one. It looks like a stamp. I just can't believe I've never been here before. No. New Jersey, third time. First time seeing this. How cool. I literally love the welcome centers. Yeah, so we are 29 minutes away and we are just crossing the bridge in between New Jersey and Jersey City to go into Manhattan. And the first one to spot the skyline wins. I've already spotted it. No, you didn't. Could you lie? <laughs> There's the Hudson River, it's there. Right. Uh, yes, downtown. Okay, so we have just checked in. It's like 6 p.m. I believe and we're staying at the Sheridan, what's it called? Four Points Hotel. Uh, I'm going to do a quick room tour before it gets messy because there's four of us staying in one room. I'll let you know the price when we check out because we don't get charged till we check out and there is parking underneath $45 a day which is not bad at all for New York City. We're staying on Wall Street and here is a room tour. This is mine and Jake's bed here. And then this is Lars and Liv's bed, nice and close. <laughs> and this is a wardrobe and an ironing board. Oh my God, that TV is huge. <coughs> and then we've got tea and coffee. Jake has to have one of these in a room. Like this gives it more points. And then we've got a safe down here. Also tea and coffee is complimentary in the morning too. And then we're on the 18th floor on Wall Street. So we are pretty high up. And then let's go look at the bathroom. Oh, it's nice. Oh my God, it's so nice. So here is the mirror. And then there is a shower and there's a bath. And then they have the shampoo, conditioner and body wash. Oh my God, this is so nice. This is actually one of the cheapest hotels we've seen. And it's so good. So we're just gonna freshen up and then head straight out. So I'm so excited to go and see New York City at night. It's been just under a year since we've last been here. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so we have all freshened up and got changed. And now we're on our way to the subway. And we're gonna head to Times Square. Um, I'm so excited, what are you doing? Lemon, is it? There's no number one. It's L. It's L, yeah, low. Okay, we're in the subway and we're just getting our metro cards to go to Times Square. It's $3 single rider. So we are going to, which one are we going, Jake? Broad Street? Uh, two, three. <coughs> and we get our Times Square. Just slide it, I think. Yeah, so. slide it. 
Metro. <laughs> Down. <laughs> go. There we go. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Next stop. It's so quiet. Transfer is available to the 4, 5, A, C, and J trains. Let's come out of the tube station and we're going to walk to Main Times Square. <laughs> it's so warm tonight, which is good. The rain stopped. It's just incredible. We just stood here and had to like take it in. There's just so much to look at. It's so loud, but it's just incredible. There's nothing else like it. Okay, so we just checked out Times Square really quickly, and now we are walking down to the Rockefeller Center to look at the Rockefeller tree, because apparently the Rockefeller tree goes down tomorrow. So we want to make sure that Lars and Liv see it. Um, so fingers crossed it's still there and they haven't took it down early. It's not far at all. It's like a five minute walk from Times Square. So that's where we're walking now. So we've just turned up at the Rockefeller tree. We've come in from a side angle. We'll go up to the bit where they film Home Alone. Yeah. And this is the front of it. We're so lucky that we actually got to see the tree before they got taken down. It's just so magical here. If coming to New York is not on your bucket list during Christmas time, you need to add it because that. Let me just focus it. It's so cool. It never gets old. It's so beautiful. And tomorrow we're going to go to the top just there. I'm so excited. And right here in between these angels is where they found Kevin's mom found him. We go, Kevin! Oh my god. And tomorrow we'll come and see it in the light as well. And now we've come to the back of the tree. I actually can't believe it's a real tree. Like that. And they're taking it down tomorrow, so we've got to catch it. Okay, so we're just walking past Radio City. This is where the Rockettes perform at Christmas, and oh my god, it's amazing. <gasps> Lewis Capaldi's here on April 6th. I thought you meant he was there now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, he's not. That would be so cool to go and see. Um, but this is like honestly one of my favorite theaters of all time. It's absolutely huge. And we're just slowly walking back towards Times Square to look for some food. Yeah. I'm so glad we came today because they started to take down the decorations slowly. Okay, so if you're looking for Dallas Barbecue, then you need to come down this street. This is your number. We'll find out to tell the vlog. But it's where Aladdin is on Broadway. The best restaurant in New York I'm not even lying to you guys and it's just the targets here and it's like literally chewed out target lids Dallas barbecue okay for drinks this is known for their drinks so I'm gonna get the 20 ounce last time I got a 10 ounce but this time I'm going big with the 20 ounce and I'm gonna get um, a daiquiri with strawberry and then I'm gonna get the quarter chicken which comes with fries and I'm also gonna get the homemade coleslaw this is so good Okay, so this is the strawberry daiquiri. The rum comes to the side and you have to drink a bit before you pour it in. Otherwise, it's going to overflow. This is Lars's, but she's kind of bring the Corona. And then Liv's got the same as me and then Jake's just got a standard Corona. Drink a bit. Okay, get ready. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I got brain freeze. 
So I just noticed that these are double shots and there was three of them. So I poured one in, but I've got to take my time, otherwise I'll be really drunk. And Lars has got brain freeze. <laughs> How's your drink? I'm ready for a second. <laughs> oh, wait, wow. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I got the chicken, the the chips, and then this always comes with the bread. Cornbread, isn't it? Cornbread. Okay, so I'm trying my first New York bagel in New York. Okay, it actually works. Come to the corners and you can hear each other. One stands here and one stands there. Yeah, you got it! You got it! <laughs> Lars and Liv are loving that. They've literally destroyed it. They gave it a 10 out of 10. I didn't know what to expect, but honestly, this is my new favorite viewing point. 